Hey YouTube, it's me Morgan and this video is on Smart Lipo. A lot of you guys know that I went and got Smart Lipo done because I did post it on Instagram and um, I got a lot of questions and stuff about it so I just wanted to make a video and um, answer the questions. I did have a post um, asking what questions you guys want to see. So this video might be like a really long video, um, but I might make it into two parts since it's going to be really long. So um, I have like a list of all the questions that I'm going to answer. And um, hopefully I answer a lot of them. My iPad's on 4%, so hopefully it doesn't die. But um, first, before I even start the video, I just want to say I did Smart Lipo for my own personal reasons. It wasn't, you know, because of social, you know, media or magazines or whatever. I did it for my own personal reasons. Um, nobody pressured me to do it um, or anything like that. So I did it for my own reasons. And um, if you have anything negative to say about it, just keep it to yourself. And... Um, or if you do decide to tell me, I'll just block you. That's it. Okay. So moving on. Um, what is Smart Lipo? Smart Lipo is liposuction. Um, I'll tell you the process I went through. It's different from re regular liposuction. It's not as like harsh and evasive. So it's different. So basically, I'll tell you what happened um, from day one since I got it done so first I didn't have to per I didn't prepare for it like I didn't have to eat certain foods or um do whatever I didn't have to do anything special they did recommend four different medicines to take and um I didn't take any because I was initially supposed to get the procedure done last week which was last Wednesday no last Thursday like the first week in April but I took a Celebrex pill and that caused me to throw up all night. So I was throwing up all night. And then I was too sick to even go get the procedure done. So um, I had to reschedule it to the next Wednesday. So I got it done Wednesday. I didn't take any pills. They give you Celebrex, Xanax for anxiety, um, Keflex, um, I think that's antibiotic, and hydrocoding and I took the hydrocoding after my procedure but before my procedure I did not take a single pill nothing I didn't take any of it so I woke up my procedure was at nine o'clock a.m. so I got there at nine my mom went with me um she drove me there and um so I got in they took like you know my what's it called check my blood pressure I guess yeah they did that and they were just talking to me and um they asked if I wanted to take the Xanax for anxiety I said no I just didn't want to take any medicine and um first day I had to put a robe on so I had to get naked and I put a robe on and then he came and took pictures of me like before pictures and then after that I um he came and marked me marked the areas where I was getting the fat taken out of and I did get the fat taken out of my whole abdomen, my sides and my back and like bra fat. So he marked all the areas and then I went to the room and they sterilized me. I laid on this, laid on the thing, I forgot what it's called, but they sterilized me and covered me up and then it was beginning. So. My mom was sitting behind me. I really wasn't nervous at all because, I don't know, I just don't get that nervous with stuff like this. Because I figured they're professionals so they know what they're doing. So I really wasn't nervous at all. I um, lay there and they start making four incisions. They did the front first. So they made an incision like right below um, like where your pelvic is, I guess, on each side under your belly button and below your belly button so those incisions felt like a bee sting it really didn't hurt um then they start injecting the numbing the numbing liquid which was the part that i didn't like the most like that part kind of hurt a little bit so they inject the numbing stuff in you but it's not like you know 
inject, inject, inject. It's like they inject it and move the thing inside you to get it everywhere. So they filled my stomach up numbing liquid and it felt like a water balloon. I could not feel anything. I could feel, I could like feel the touch, but I couldn't feel like any pain. So after that, he went ahead and took the laser and it took, it, I forgot what it's called, it's supposed to see, but he took this long laser and he um, melted the fat. So he went inside, it was going like this and just melting the fat. And after he melted the fat, he took a suction and suctioned all of it out and it went through a tube and into a container and I got to watch it, the container fill up with um, fat and liquid and blood and stuff. So I don't really get grossed out with stuff like that, with like liquids and blood and all that stuff. It really doesn't bother me. So I was watching it fill up and um, after that he stuck, he um, stitched up the incisions and then um, on the left side I had a drain. So there was a tube in me still and it was draining into a little like container thing. So I had to wear the drain for a day. So that was the front abdomen part. The back part hurt a little bit more because there's not as much fat back there. So when he was numbing it, I could feel it a little bit more. But once it was numb, I didn't feel anything else. So that was it. Like he stitched me up. And when I got up off the table, I was fine. Like I felt normal. Um, so I went and put my shoes on and everything. And I talked to him some more. He was telling me a little bit more information. And then I left with my mom. She drove home. Um, and I didn't feel any pain until about like 2 or 3 o'clock. And that's when the numbing liquid was starting to wear off. And I was starting to feel like the pain. Um, so I did start taking the hydrocodone after I um, started feeling the pain. Like as soon as I started feeling it, I took it. And the procedure is under a local anesthesia, and that means they only numb the area that you're getting the procedure done in. So instead of putting you to sleep, um, they just numb the area. And the smart lipos, I feel like it's better than regular because regular liposuction, they put you to sleep. And I think they cut in you and do some other stuff. I'm really not sure. But I decided to get smart lipo instead of that. Um, so yeah, so that was how day one went um yeah so then the next day i what happened the next day i woke up and i was so sore like i was in my bed i woke up and i was just ridiculously sore and um yeah it was painful getting up i didn't go to work on thursday Wednesday or Thursday but it was so hard to get up I was just like oh my gosh I feel like an old lady um, like I was leaned forward like my whole abdomen and uterus hurt so bad um, but I think all the liquid like there's still liquid in me to this day today's Saturday there's still like liquid and it's starting to like um, stomach is getting a little bit hard because you know once when, when you go inside your body and suck stuff out and you know you're like i don't know i want to say damaging but you know it's harsh on your body so i think i have like the scar the tissue inside is starting to scar up so that's why it's hard i asked the doctor he says completely normal i even looked on message boards and stuff and forums and that's completely normal um it does take time to heal so when i woke up i was in deep pain i took um some more medicine and I had to go get my drain removed, so I went to the place. He took out my drain and stitched it up, I guess. And yeah, so now I don't have a drain. Um, and I think I just laid around all day. Friday I went to work, the pain wasn't as bad. Um, but you do have to wear, it's a little dirty, but this compression garment right here. And it's really long. You have to wear this compression garment. They say to wear it for three weeks or as long as you can. Um, and it helps just compress all the stuff inside you. It helps everything to flow. So I wear this 24-7. The only reason I don't have it on now is because I um, 
my mom's about to wash it because I haven't washed it in like three I haven't washed it since I've been wearing it so it needs to be washed but when it's done I'll put it right back on um it's really not as it's really not that comfortable because you know I do wear that corset before I had the surgery done and it feels like that but it's not the corset I would say is more uncomfortable this really is not uncomfortable to me at all some people say it is but I don't think it is okay so um yeah I think that's about it so far um yeah today's Saturday and I just have on a shirt and a skirt I decided to um like the clothes I wear are have to be like loose fitting um it's more comfortable like that because my stomach is still sore so it's like if I wear jeans it'll be too tight around it so whatever I wear is like has elastic so right now I'm wearing a skirt um I'll show you I'm wearing this skirt it has elastic and my stomach is swollen still so like this whole part is sticking out because it's swollen the sides are still swollen and everything so yeah I'm still swollen um he said it takes up to like three to six months to see the final results um so I when I first got it done like that day I did see like my stomach was flat and now it's starting to like poke out a little bit but that's because it's getting swollen and trying to recover and stuff so um as time goes by it's gonna go down because it won't be as swollen anymore but he does he did say it takes like three months to like for all the swelling to go down because it is a major it is a big procedure and it won't go down just like that like seriously so okay so that was my experience basically from day one of the procedure up to day three it's day three now saturday so i just wanted to come make a video real quick just to tell you guys everything that's been going on so far um and I'm going to make a question and answer video right after this one. I just could not fit all of it in one video because it's just too much. Like, I have tons of questions. So, the um, questions I showed you earlier on that iPad, I'm going to make it another video. So, I have to upload this one. I'll upload that one. And um, But I am right now about to post pictures of my before. And I guess, when do I take those pictures? This 24 hours later after the procedure. So, um, yeah, so I'll have the pictures of before I got my lipo done and they're kind of blurry. I forgot to tell my mom to focus the camera. So before and then after, you can definitely see the difference. My stomach is flat and yeah, I know a lot of you guys were like wondering, like, why did you even get it? I got it because I, um, when I did gymnastics for so long, I used to have like abs and my body used to be like all muscle. Um, I quit and I wasn't working out as much so like the bottom pouch turned into fat and it was so annoying. Like I tried everything. You guys know if you follow me on Instagram or YouTube, you know that I work out all the time and I try to eat healthy. Like I don't eat really bad foods and even like last, summer, last spring break I lost 14 pounds in the that was still there so like no matter what I did that pouch would not go away and like the fat your bra fat and the size it just would not go away so that's why I did this I never said I was fat or anything um, I just wanted to get rid of that because I tried other ways it just didn't work so now I'm going to show you the before and after the before the um, pictures and the 24 hour after pictures and um thanks for watching if you guys have any questions or comments let me know um please try to hold your questions i guess until the next video uploads unless it's a question about something on this video but the next video is going to have i'm answering like tons of questions so yeah but thank you for watching and see you in another video bye